Hey guys, it's Stephanie, uh, Scrappy Steffi here, and I'm here with a uh, really quick and easy project share, and also wanted to give you all a neat little nifty trick that I learned. Um, someone showed me about how to, uh, just a fun thing to do with envelopes. Um, and there's probably videos out there about this. Um, a friend of mine, they're actually my friend that turned me on to paper crafting a couple of years ago, actually she's the one that showed me this. Not sure where she learned it, but um, I have just made a really quick little um, postcard kind of card just to demonstrate what uh, I'm trying to show you all. This is just a really quick little card I made. Um, if I decide to use it, I'll just write my greeting on the back here. Um, but in any uh, light, you just take an envelope. Now I made this envelope with my envelope punch board. You can also use a regular envelope. The key is your envelope must be bigger than your card um, and not not just the bigger where it barely fits in but you want plenty of give room uh, in your envelope. So um, don't put your card in your envelope and go ahead and seal your envelope up. And this, we're going to use our crimper, our Fiskars crimper, or your Marvy Uchida crimper, or whatever crimper you have. Um, we all have these, and if you're like me, you don't use it very much. Um, mine actually is dusty. I don't use it very often at all. I forget about it, actually. Um, so you're going to take your envelope that you've sealed, and we're going to cut an end off. Um, I'm going to use a little Creative Memories guillotine cutter just for this. And I'll cut um, about an inch off. And hopefully that will um, be enough for my card. Yes, I believe that will. Um, now what's left of this um, envelope, you're going to run it through your crimper. Okay. And I always, I'm just clumsy with this, guys, uh, probably because I don't use it very often. You just run that through your crimper. Comes out like so. Okay. Now you're going to stick your card in it. And here's where the cool part is. That little lid, lip, lid, whatever you call it, that we cut off. Because the paper is crimped, it's a little bit smaller than what isn't crimped. And that caps over that very neatly. And you can deliver it this way, or you can deliver it this way. Now, this is not something you would give in the mail. This is something you would hand deliver uh, to someone. But it's really cute. It kind of gives the idea of a little package. Um, you can decorate the lip here, um, you can tie string around it, you can do a lot of different things. But um, And then the uh, receiver uh, just only has to pull the little lid off. But how simple is that, guys? You just cut the end of your envelope off, run the, the large part through the crimper, and because the crimping actually makes it a little smaller, then you can um, put the unfinished edge right back over the top of it. You get a little lid like there. So I just want to show you that. I thought that was really cute. Someone had showed that to me. Um, the pro little project share that I wanted to show is I had mentioned on one of my videos recently that I was working on uh, a couple of card books or some card actually more than a couple card books for my mother for greeting cards and um, because I had so many I actually have done two already and I had two more and I've got two more left to do um, I was looking for a really quick and easy uh, way to do this without it involving a lot of time and um, so I had I picked up these um, Oh my goodness, chipboard pieces. They're 8x8 eight eight chipboard pieces at Tuesday morning the other day on clearance. They were Heidi Swap. And so what I did, instead of using the front and the back, 
I took a different kind of chipboard that's not quite as thick. It's still thick, but it's not quite as thick. I measured it, cut the corners to match the uh, Heidi Swap chipboard. Looks like I have a little, my guys, a little something or other there. Um, and so uh, that way I could stretch the chipboard from the Heidi Swap, um, make it stretch longer. So I actually had four pieces instead of two since I decided to use a different back. Um, and then what I've done, this was the Heidi Swap chipboard that you can spray. Um, it was the resist pattern. So that's what I've done on this. I've actually sprayed this. Um, it was like a coral color and then a gold and then I kind of flecked it with green. I added some washi down the side to cover because this was a three ring binder. And so I had to add some I had to add some washi to cover up the three rings and then I punched my own holes in using um, this Tim Holtz ideology binder punch and this is also what I used to punch the cards with. And then the back end, I've just stamped that it was created by me. Um, nothing too fancy. Now on the inside, um, and in the other two books that I finished, those are Christmas albums. And so they each have, I think one of them says uh, Christmas cheer and the other one says Christmas greetings. And I've actually already given those to Mother. Um, I didn't put a lot of embellishments on these because... Um, what did I gave her a huge box, like a gift box, one of the really neat decorated gift boxes that you can buy in the store nowadays. And it was big enough to hold all six of these little mini albums. So um, I didn't put a lot of decorations, a lot of embellishments, because these are going to get smashed, you know, with everything on top of them. But I just wanted to show you, this was so easy, guys, and I know I have I watched another video on binding greeting cards, and it was beautiful, it was lovely, it was hand-stitched binding, I forget what the name of the binding is. Um, I didn't have that kind of time, and uh, I wanted to get these finished by Christmas. I actually did get two of them done by Christmas, today is the day after Christmas. So, um, I, you know, am finishing up on these. Um, but I didn't want to invest that much time. Um, I will say the two books that I gave my mother of her cards, she absolutely loved. Um, and basically what I've done is I have, mother has collected greeting cards for years. And uh, she's kept letters, she's kept sentiments. So um, I've created a little pocket here to tuck some just loose letters and loose sentiments in and um, just little loose things that people have given her. Uh, one of her neighbors actually drew that little picture and stuck that in there. And then on the inside, um, these are all greeting cards that many, many different loved ones. Uh, my mother has six children, so a lot of these are from her children. A lot of these are from friends. This particular book um, is a birthday greeting book. Whoops. So I have just um, done nothing too fancy. I cut this out of a journal card. I wrote birthday wishes on it in gold. Um, I added an embellishment and just I did some Wink of Stella here. I did some washi down here. And then the second book is very similar. <clears throat> Again, using the Heidi Swap um, 8x8 album. I uh, used, uh, I think it was citrus and... Um, some kind of aqua. I don't remember the exact color. And then I did have to run the washi down the side again um, to cover up the extra holes. And I did that on the inside as well, although I didn't have to do a pocket on the inside. And this again was a birthday, so I had a journaling card. I just wrote the word greetings, added a butterfly to go with these butterflies, and it was so simple. And again, um, just lots of cards, and um, I didn't have any extra um, uh, little papers or anything that I needed to worry about, so this was a very simple book. Um, but I just, I will tell you, my mother just loved the Christmas greetings. Um, 
and I know she's going to love these. And then I have one that's Mother's Day and Valentine's Day that I'm actually that I'm going to be working on tomorrow. Um, so I wanted to show you all how lazy this was. Um, it, it honestly, the longest time it took was just doing the front cover. I mean, it didn't take no time to punch each each card. I did punch individually, and. Um, that didn't take any time at all. It really didn't take any time for the chipboard and the back. Um, the longest time it took was just, you know, coming up something simple. And again, I didn't want anything too fancy. I mean, if you were going to do just one of these, I think you could make the front cover just stunning. Um, knowing that these were going to be in a box and they were going to be smashed, I really didn't want to go to all the trouble to... Um, do some really fancy embellishments, but um, I'm, I'm pleased with how they turned out, and like I said, I, having already given her um, the two Christmas ones, she absolutely loved them. So I just wanted to show those to you guys. This is so easy to do, and you don't have to have the Heidi Swap board. You can get any kind of chip board, and actually um, the book the two of the two books that I have left, I do have one more of the Heidi Swap boards. And then the other one I'm going to use a manila folder and I'm going to cut it down and um, glue, you know, my pretty pattern paper to it and make it out of that because I'm actually out of the chipboard after this last one that's coming up. So, um, and you can make them any size that you want, in, you know, depending on the size of your greeting cards. But it really is a beautiful way to preserve. And then, uh, and let me show you this also, when you have cards that have, you know, sometimes people stick little cards or little letters um, inside the cards. What I've done on each of the ones that have little extra, um, I've just added a, a coordinating piece of cardstock here in the back and then I've tucked, like these two little tags were in this card. So I've tucked those in and then um, I've had some that you know had a letter attached well I would make a pocket on the inside of the card and that way uh, the letter was attached to it so just wanted to share this with you guys and also to share the little card using the uh, Fiskars or the Marvel Uchita the crimper so um, that's all I have for today you guys uh, have a great holiday season the rest of it and I'll talk with you the next time thanks